care team has impacted my life in that my overall health is much better and it has helped my entire family working with this team. As a health coach of the virtual care team, I see my role as um, helping the person implement the recommendations and the changes that their doctors have um, provided for them. So it's really exciting because I get to really connect with the person on a personal level. We set goals, um, we anticipate barriers. I'm, I'm like a personal cheerleader, but a cheerleader that's guiding, holding the person accountable, um, helping the person to see their strengths, and drawing out um, what I'd like to say empowerment, to empower them so they can learn to self-manage their care is the ultimate goal. Well, the resources that you provide me, um, there's my fitness pal, there's Joanne, mm -hmm. and all the other websites and sites you guys your A1C a lot. Can you give me an idea of where you currently are in terms of your A1C? My A1C, when I first started talking to you guys, was 10.7. Now it's down to like 6.4. Fabulous. This is my accountability team. If I do what I tell them I'm going to do, and they give me resources to help me get there, then I'll reach my goal. And I'll stay focused. I have seen during my rounds uh, that these patients have done remarkably well when they have right tool uh, that has been offered by our care team. Um, we have recently seen a patient that my initial impression was that maybe the patient has a component of non-compliance and I was amazed to see how well this patient did when there were right tool offered to the patient. It works together. The partnership. The partnership. So um, I'm trying to get somewhere. You're trying to get me somewhere. It works together as a team effort. I think the most unique thing about the virtual care team is the interdisciplinary part of it, so that we, we have the nurses, we have dietitians, we have the health coach and the social workers. So we're addressing all the issues of the members' lives to hopefully create a better quality of life for them. We also have a pharmacist who is looking at the patient's medications and providing a little additional support and education around those uh, prescription medications. We have uh, very complex cases sometimes, as you know, when we, talk, we discuss in our IDCT, and we have presented some very challenging cases to Dr. Ansari, who has been very helpful to us. She brings the medical point of view. She teaches us um, about new medicines coming out and also about treatment. We've had um, the introduction, as you know, of social workers to the team. We've used the pharmacists more. We are uh, working with health coaches, diabetic educators, and also the um, the role of the registered dietitian. So I believe that has evolved the cases to really expand the depth and breadth of the care that the patients can get. Well, we impact people's lives daily. That's every day. That's what we do. The first example is a woman with advanced lung cancer, and she was living alone. Her family is out of the area. Um, not only did she, and she's a retired woman, um, so not a lot of social support. So she was brand new to this diagnosis. And we see that a lot when people come with new diagnoses and they feel lost. And the, the doctors uh, do a great job of uh, taking care of them in the, um, during appointments. But then there's a lot left to do 
outpatient. So what, um, what I was helping her with is understand the diagnosis, get her connected to resources and support. And then when the disease progressed, we helped by getting her admitted to skilled nursing so that she could get the care around the clock that she needed to um, live out the, her final days. Did anything happen in your life that put you at that point where you, you said, I'm going to take action? I'm going to take action. I'm going to take control of my health. Um, maybe fear. <laughs> fear. I, 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 I'm a, one of seven siblings, and I just didn't want to be the first one to die. I have worked as an independent physician worked with my maximum ability to provide the best care. Uh, but you do realize that you can't just work alone. And in order to provide the best care, you do need some uh, other resources. Um, realizing that the VCT team is there to um, take some burden off your practice and uh, give you a time to uh, focus just on the medicine aspect of patient care. What would you say to someone who's on the fence about coming over and joining the team? How do you get them over here on the other side, where you are? 